Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. A dating nightmare. A local woman says she didn't get what she paid for when she signed up for a matchmaking service. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell joins us now with those details. Susan. Caroline and Mike, the woman says she knew within the first few minutes of the blind date that this was not a match made in heaven. But things quickly turned scary for her when the date started to send her sexually harassing messages. And she says the matchmaking service didn't do anything to help her. Amanda Sicocio spent $3,500 to sign up for Rhode Island matchmakers. She says her first date was a nightmare. He continued to contact me over and over and over. I continuously said, please leave me alone. But the calls and messages didn't stop. Instead, she says the man she was set up with started texting nude photos of himself. I contacted the matchmaking service and I said, look, you know, this guy's harassing me now. Um, you know, his comments are really rude. It's getting to the point where I, if he knows where I live, I would be scared. So she went to police. The complaint she filed says I have continuously been getting sexually harassed via text messages from a man that I was set up with through a matchmaker. I just want it over with. I just want to erase everything that pretty much happened. I mean, Amanda says Rhode Island matchmakers refused to cancel her contract or refund her money. The Nevada based company responded to call 12 fractions questions with this statement. Immediately after Ms. Sicoccio told Rhode Island matchmakers of the inappropriate behavior of a client, Rhode Island matchmakers immediately suspended the offending client. As clearly stated in her contract, Rhode Island matchmakers is under no obligation to protect the physical safety of any client, including Ms. Sicoccio. And the company has not breached the terms of its contract with Ms. Sicoccio. The company is continuing its ongoing efforts to fully provide Ms. Sicoccio with the services per the terms of her contract. That doesn't really sit well with me. If this, this is the caliber of people you're setting me up with, um, I'm, I'm, I'm good. By signing the contract, Amanda also waived her right to sue Rhode Island matchmakers. She says she learned the hard way just how important it is to read the fine print on every single contract you sign. And what exactly happened to the guy who was sending her those pictures of himself? So as far as we know, he hasn't been charged with anything, but in general, in Rhode Island, cyber harassment and cyber stalking are misdemeanor crimes. If somebody's co uh, convicted of either of those, the person could face up to a year in jail and a fine. All right. Thank you, Susan. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, you can contact our Call 12 for Action Center. It's Monday through Thursday from 11 to 1. The hotline is 228-1850.